Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be playing. Now, why are we playing all these levels? Well, because, um, yeah, lots of comments on the 8 video. Lots of people recommending me many levels, which I don't know if I'll get to all of them, but I mean, I'll definitely play some of them. I'll start off with Stalemate because I already did play this level. It just got cut from the Sharp Miner video because my mic was being screwy. So yeah, I guess I should say thank you for like the giant outpouring of uh, support on that 8 video. It's at like 13,000 views now, which is kind of ridiculous. Nah, oh, man. Yeah, we're using hitboxes. Man, look at how much better this is when you can just see this. Oh, don't you love not having memory at all? It's awesome. Anyways, while this beautiful level's in the background, I don't know about where you guys are, but if you're living in the US, there's kind of like a giant storm thing that's currently happening, like everywhere except for Florida, because of course. So like outside right now, like the entire day, it will not crest over 10 degrees. And I got woken up by a phone call from my sister that she needed me to go do something. So I had to go outside and it felt like According to the science that is um, searching weather on um, the internet, it felt like 15, which uh, it certainly was very cold when I went out. Yeah, that level's pretty easy when you can cheat through all the memory. Yay! Now we're on a coup, thanks to, um, here, I should probably say the names of the people who asked me to play this. The original guy who asked me to play Stalemate was Angel Plox DD. The guy who asked me to play a coup was Juniper Albatross. But anyways, my my sister is currently actually downstairs right now, and she brought her cat over. And so a bit of a story time about our um, cats and like what they are. So we ended up getting cats because initially we wanted them as like mousers because what we had found was in like a closet we didn't use that much. We found there was like a store of dog food like high up in it. We were also finding dog food in like shoes. So we were like, oh yeah, yeah, that's like the mice, you know, mousing and holding stuff in areas. And we were like, okay, so we need to, let's get a cat, you know? And so we got them from one of my mom's friends. Dude, why does this level look so good? It's kind of distracting me from story time, honestly. Okay, yeah, I said look good, and then it gives me this. But anyways, so, and we have our, like, selection of three cats. And the first one we wanted was a girl, because I think my mom's friend had told us that, like, the females tend to be the better mousers. And so... Yo, this level kind of goes hard. I guess I'm not quite at the level where I can fully turn my brain off while I'm playing an extreme demon. But I think my sister, like, wanted that cat. So we ended up letting her have it. And then I think we were gonna get... Then we were gonna get a... Then we were gonna get the other male cat. And for whatever reason, my grandparents ended up with that one. And so we ended up with the last one we wanted, who my mom said she didn't really like his, like, coat at first. So the male cat we have is named Schroeder. The female one my sister has is named Malia. And the one my grandparents got is- Okay, yeah, we need to pause this. How about this, Aku? Well, well, no, no, I don't want to lose my progress. And the one my- Oh! All right, we already lost our progress on that. How about we just do one that's easier for me to do in practice? So the one my grandparents got was named- Gator first, and now it's called RC for Rotten Cat. And yeah, Ars Schroeder is like a complete, he's awesome. He is the chillest cat ever. He does not care about anything at all. He's kind of fat. Anyways, my sister's cat, Malia, when my sister was living with us still, her and Schroeder obviously were around each other a lot and they were, they were thick as thieves. We have many pictures of them being just the best of buds and Okay, I'm getting stuck on this ball. Please. Made it. But um so they were thick as thieves. They were they were they were good chums and then my sister moved out and now whenever Malia comes over, Schroeder's like, "Yay, a friend." And Malia's like, "Get away from me." So, you know, Malia's passive aggressive. You know, it's super weird to be 
like once I don't know how many of you guys have been playing this game for like how long or whatever, but when this level came out, what like eight years ago at this point, like eight and a half now, this level was just oh, obviously it was the hardest, and you know it took like a year, or like over a year, didn't it, for like the first non riot person to beat it and it's just like it's so strange for me to be playing like this level which was you know now it's not even top 100 but like that was such a just such a force in the community you know and that's had such like a long lasting effect like on what hard levels are or what top one should be and like the theming of them the way that this song is used way too much yeah i had to use the up arrow for that screw that part we hate spam Now, wouldn't it be cool if Rob Top made like a rating for levels like this that have like a crazy legacy or something? You know, like this, Cataclysm, Nine Circle, Sonic Wave, like levels that were truly legendary that like are almost like necessities to like know about geometry. Oh god, I almost just said Geometry Dash history. And you know, it's like I'm like, ugh, Geometry Dash history, but like genuinely though, I assume like a decent amount of you know about I think he's just called C now, but C1997, and he used to make Geometry Dash like history videos, and dude, the community is crazy. Like all these things that have happened in the past and all these like stories and everything, it's like super interesting actually. Like if you look back at what's happened over the course of just years of Geometry Dash, it's, it's honestly really intriguing. Anyways, there's Bloodbath done, so we're gonna play Magma Bound. So this is another one of those levels that was actually in the um, Sharp Miner video, but you know, like I said, Mike was being screwy, so this level honestly seems like it would be really fun, but if you're asking me if I think I'll beat it next, absolutely not. I'm just not going to have the dedication. Like literally, oh, dead. Yeah, thanks for the beat. Yeah, really good level though. Oh my god, I can't believe I fluked that from the percent that I was at! Oh, by the way, Magma Bound was recommended to me by the uh, same guy as uh, Stalemate. Anyways, now we're playing 80X, who is recommended by Poppin' Kringles, who calls me a noob and says that if I played this level, I would realize that 80 is actually good. I see Felix Ram has made some, uh, I was gonna say upgrades, but we'll say changes to the gameplay, which does indeed actually make this ship hard, and not just something I have to sit through to get to the UFO. Oh! What is that? You know what? Actually, he's right. I made a mistake. My bad. He actually is right. Playing this level has made me realize that Ado is actually not that bad. Wow. That, I think, took me more attempts than Bloodbath, actually. Yeah, that level sucks. You know what? That guy was right. Absolutely. Ado is not that bad. I changed my mind. This is bad. And then, from Rio Gat, Black Major win now. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh no, 
Oh no! Ah, <laughs> uh, I see, Ryogyat. You were making what's called a funny joke. <laughs> I get it. You didn't actually think that I would beat this, would you? Oh yeah, this is a joke. You're very funny, actually. Now that I'm playing it, you can probably hear it in my voice, but I'm actually very mirthful right now. I think that you're quite funny for coming up for this level. Well, you know what? Now, just like Sharp Miner, since we're stuck in hell, I might as well give you guys another one of my acclaimed stories. How about this time I give you a story about the Channel Rewind, which at this time is like less than 20 views, but it's expected because nobody's gonna click on a three and a half hour video. I doubt you guys would have clicked on the 8 video if it was three and a half hours. But, um, you know, I made all those, like, posts and everything that was like, all right, we're doing the Rewind next. And I was like, all right, it should be done by, um, the 31st or on New Year's Day. Don't worry, I got you guys. And then, like I said, like, all right, this is taking longer than expected. That was not a lie, but the reason it took longer than expected was because I wasn't working on it until like after January 1st had already gone by. Yeah, cat's out of the bag. I'm sorry, I'm lazy. What is this cube? What? Just turns into a easy demon? But anyways, yeah, I basically didn't touch that rewind at all, and then I can kind of give you guys, like, eh, I guess I won't bore you with the process. I might do, like, a video, like, the making of, ba 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 if, you know, more than five people actually end up seeing that rewind. Wow, what an end screen. Um, <laughs> tell me to beat that next? No. Space locked. Recommended by Stefan Guitar. So, what I was gonna say... Oh, I already don't like this. I'm a very negative person when it comes to Geometry Dash, as you may be able to tell. I get like two seconds into a level, and I'm like, yeah, this isn't happening. But, um, watching that whole rewind and, like, everything... Man, it's so crazy to me, uh, just a few things. One thing is the fact that I actually uploaded videos as much as I did. Now, granted, I didn't edit for, like, the better part of a large amount of time. Like, I didn't... I started in August of 2022, and I didn't start start editing until May, like late May of 2023. Like it was that long where my videos just weren't edited. And as I say in the rewind, it's actually insane that I expected people to watch some of that like unedited. Like one thing that's absolutely crazy to me is that I tried uploading the original Resident Evil without editing, which if any of you have played the original Resident Evil, oh no, 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 no. The original Resident Evil is one of the slowest games you will ever play in your your life and i didn't actually hate it and no one in their right mind is going to leave that unedited yeah um good old stefan guitar i appreciate your input and i appreciate all of your guys's recommendations but i just want to safely say that it's a pretty safe no to basically every single level you see me play in this video no like a, like a pretty, pretty affirmative no. Anyways, what I was saying before is that, yeah, those Resident Evil videos would literally just turn into cutscene at the beginning and then me wandering around for half an hour finding like a single item and opening a door and then saying something as like another scripted sequence plays out and then another just silence for like 40 minutes. Yeah, those videos are ridiculous. Don't watch those, please. I don't want to play the second one, but I will because I'm... Eh. No. Next, this one comes from Flame, and he asks, where is the lobotomy levels? Is this what you guys want me to do? By the way, to anyone who's like curious, trust me, don't feel bad that I said your level sucks. Yeah, just don't feel bad. Yeah, no, but if I'm actually being serious, most of these levels don't, like, actually suck, by the way. That's just me saying that, because in the moment, I see something that requires me to learn instead of being able to sight-read it immediately, and I go, ah, angry! So, you know, maybe that guy who called me a noob was right. He, he, he saw right through me from the very beginning. No. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Oh man, you guys gotta be so mad about this right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll, I'll, all on my own time, I'll give these levels 
fair, fair shakes. Understand, guys. I'm just, I'm just doing this to entertain, okay? Which probably isn't working. Most of you are probably really mad right now. This is a guy named VTB who plays Geometry Dash. So, uh, yeah, he, he suggested a few levels, and one of them was this, Night Terrors by Heinz. I like Heinz. Heinz's levels are very fun. I've beaten Dance Massacre and Psychosis. I've been meaning to beat Firewall for a long time, but like many levels, I gave up. Mmm, slopes. Alright, Heinz, not a good sign. I mean, yeah, this level's honestly pretty decent. I'm gonna say, I'm sure a lot of you are like, what kind of level does this guy even enjoy playing? Heinz. Heinz levels are fun. Because they can be sight read, that's why they're fun. Some of you may be coming to the correct conclusion that the more level it requires me to actually think, the less I enjoy it. Look at this level, we're 60% through and I haven't said, haha, no yet. Ah, see, Heinz, if you had put this at the beginning of the level, that would have been it for you. I wouldn't have even gotten past 10%. Now, outside of Forsaken Neon or Bloodbath, this is definitely the most likely for me to actually beat next. So thank you for recommending Night Terrors, because it's a Heinz level. Yeah, just go through Heinz's, like, catalog. Though I would like to give you guys an actual, here, I'll level with you. I'm going to tell you what my personal type of level is. You see this? Nice and sight readable, blocks and spikes. I'm a fan of that. Anyways, now that there's been a whole video of me being a giant stinky loser about people's recommended levels, how about I just play the weekly and then we'll call it that. I, I guess it's it's been long enough that I feel like I've like fully cooled down regarding the comments. There was, on my initial two... Whoa. Wait, what do I actually do here? Okay, so I just follow the music. Do, 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 do. But anyways, um, on my initial, like, 2.2 video, I think there were two comments that were kind of, like, because, you know, the video the video title of that is, like, 2.2 is amazing, and, um, which I think it is. <laughs> there were two people who were kind of, like, um, one told me to stop lying for views, and I was like, bro, do you think getting this many views is, like, something worth lying over? Like, I hate to tell you, man, I'm not monetized or anything. I have no reason to be doing that. At that time, if you look at all the videos I uploaded before that, dude, I didn't even get any comments. It wasn't even talking to people. There was like no reason for me to lie. Bro saw a video with like less than a thousand views at the time, or maybe a thousand at that point, and was like, oh, stop lying for views. And it's like, dude, look at my channel. I have no views. And then there was another guy who said like, it's crazy we waited this long just for like an editor update and like five new levels. And I was like, okay, dude, you understand that a editor update is giving you like infinitely more levels to actually play online, right? Like, I don't want to be that guy, but one level and update from Robotop is completely fine because all they do is show off the mechanics. Like, that's all that matters. Saying it's just an editor update, that's the whole, that's like the whole game that you're going to be playing is levels made by other people. Just an editor update is like saying that like Modern Warfare 3, oh boy, here we're gonna get controversial, oh boy. Like saying that Modern Warfare 3 versus Modern Warfare 2 is just a movement update and it's like you're always moving. You can't say just a movement update when that's how you play the game.
All right, good level. Yeah, we like that. Anyways, yeah, you may be able to tell. I tend to enjoy myself playing like levels that are not pushing my skill level more than I do those. Like this, this is probably how I'm gonna play the game most of the time. You know, before we end this video, that's the wrong place. Before we end this video, we'll open one chest. It won't have anything of value in it. <gasps> Wait, that's Wheatley! Wheatley, my sweetly. Yes, I can be portal. Anyways, actually though, yeah, just thank you guys for like everything. Thanks for all the support. Tee hee hee. I'm gonna continue uh, doing this YouTube thing, so uh, I'm sorry.